Alright well, guys, welcome back to the Hearts Master League on PES 2020. Massive episode here. We're taking on Mullerwell Tencastle in the league and then Ghent in the Europa League. Two must win fucking games. And considering we cannot score, I mean it doesn't really give us much of a chance, does it, that we need to win both of them. You look at our previous results, 3-0 against Altma, 0-0 against Kilmarnock, 1-0 against Hibs, 2-0 against United. We've not scored in the last four games. Um, the only thing is, that in the league, it's really tight. We're not conceding many goals. I mean, look at that, we beat Aberdeen. But in the Europa League, I think the teams are just a step above us, so we're getting found out in the Europa League. But in the SPL, it is tight. So I think we only, I think one goal could be enough to beat Mullerwell. I think at home, especially, we can keep a clean sheet. But you know whether or not we can get a goal to win it or not is a different story. Making quite a few changes for this game against Mullerwell. Slamal's coming in due to Pierre's fitness. Halkett's coming in due to Suter's fitness. Players is coming in. Players is actually white, but for some reason at the moment, there is a glitch with the uh, new squad updates. So anyone that was moved into a team due to the squad updates is coming up as players. Fuck, I don't know why. Brandon, right, uh, Brandon is replacing Smith at right back. And uh, that's pretty much it. So most of the changes are in defensive areas. Hopefully that doesn't unsettle us too much at the back. Ball launched up. Halkett gets his first touch in a well. Been a few games since he played for us. Hopefully he can have a good game today. In the absence of Suter. Ball out to Brandon. He's not going to get that well. He is actually because it's been kept in there. Very poor ball. Sent oh my god, Naismith lets it run. Surely Naismith could have got that. Well, fucking hell, I wasn't expecting that, man. It's been banged into the back of the net. It's number nine. If you could tell me who that is, I'd appreciate it. Got no fucking name on the back of his shirt. The guy must be fucking irrelevant. And, but even the relevant pieces of shit can score against Hearts. I was talking about how good our defence has been. Uh, we've got f four changes in the, the back five, if you include the keeper. And the, uh, maybe it showed there, just poor Halkett there. Just not doing his job, really. And Motherwell take the lead. Not happy. I mean, what is Halkett doing, really? I mean, that's poor. Very poor. Very pish. Pish poor. Well, Halkett's been turned again, and I'm not happy with him. I might actually take them off, seriously, but thankfully, this time the shooting boots weren't on the big number nine. Or maybe he had uh, Uchi's shooting boots on, it probably explains why he missed by so much. There we go, ball then, punt it up. Better, we'll try and get that. He doesn't, though. Now it's through. It's going to be White trying to chase this. It's uh, dangerous here, but... Well, the referees gave a penalty, and I don't see what. F I, what did I do? I mean, someone's. He's, they're all protesting it. And is this a card or? I don't know. I mean, let's see what happened. I mean, I didn't do that. That was not me. And it's Halkett again. What the fuck is this guy doing? And he's going to have to come off. But more importantly. He's about to put his 2-0 down here if David Turnbull can bang this into the back of the net. And he does. Top right. Nobody saving that. And Muller will have a 2-0 lead thanks to fucking Halkett. Halkett doing a hatchet job here. On fucking Hearts' chances of winning this match. Unbelievable. David Turnbull showing why he is one of the most wanted men in Scotland. And he scores making it 2-0. Fucking dog shit. We go through to Washington, it's Morrison, Brandon, this is decent, cross comes in, it's Washington, and it's saved by the keeper. And Hartwish punts it up. Halkett actually wins a header, believe it or not. Naismith now. In towards Walker. Walker out to White. White looking for a cross in. It's took a deflection. Morrison heads it down. Naismith's there. Nadine and a moon shot can win it though. 
As soon as I say that, we get it, but then it's like a free kick. Ball through to players. What a save for the keeper, man. Slamal. Coming in. Then a job for Joel Piera. You can't, I don't think you can fault him for either opening goal, but... I mean, that's a really good save. Keep him as in it, because at 3-0, you'd probably have to say it's game over. Go Haring to Naismith. Oh, trying to think. Oh, she's through there. Hits it straight at the keeper, though. Jesus, come on. Need a better finish than that. It's kept in. It's uh, going to be back to Brandon here. Brandon then in towards Naismith. Jamie Walker. To Haring. Uche. Brandon. Morrison. Morrison. Still Morrison. Oh, toe pokes at Gillespie, though. Hey guys, 2-0 at the break, man, and we've got a massive turnaround here. Motherwell deservedly lead, but Halkett uh, surely has to be blamed for both goals. Can we turn it around the second half? I mean, I've lost all the optimism I had 45 minutes ago. We've just been shit. Uh, Halkett's really done a fucking a number on us today. And... Fucking hell, referee, man! Fucking, you can't touch these guys! And what's the re- oh, God. This game is fucking worse than feminist, man. It's like you fucking look at them, man, and they cry rape. Can't even go within five centimetres. Look at- look! He fucking jumps on top of my head. Almost squishing the brains out, man. The referee gives him a free- what did- Didn't do shit. Turn towards Berra. Berra. Oh, well Berra wins it back, though. I'm not going to slabber about the big man just yet. Plays it to Glenn Whelan, Glenn Whelan. Through to Berra, that's great. Well, apparently it's offside. Uh, Berra's looking at the linesman in disgust. And that's why, guys, because that is fucking level. Onside, shaft of the game, up the ass, by the linesman, 12 inches, taking it all. Why? Because we're hearts. Look at that, 8 fouls to 0, man. What the fuck has been in the fouls? Nothing. Haring, like, come on. Oh my Christ. Not only are we getting shafted, but we've got fucking 11 pieces of shite on the field as well, which doesn't help us. Right, hey, Brandon, Crot, I'm off the face. Wheeling, please. Oh, is that no Oh, where's my fill referee, you fucking cheating bastard? Ball comes in. Name's nothing, Bearer's no there. Ball comes in again. It's going to be Glenn Wheeling. Stephen A. Smith. Oh my god, awful. Right, ball comes up. We're going to win that, hopefully. Right, now we win it. It's Walker. Better play from us. This Jesus Christ. Who was that? Show yourself. Is it fucking Bosnich? I think it was. I mean, it was decent play. I'm linking up there, nice, I mean, nice wee dummy, and, no, I think it's Connor Washington, actually. Oh, uh, we're just not meant to score, guys, we're really not. Lovely Berra. I can't believe this, guys, I mean, we just, what do we have to do? I mean, first half was a shite, second half, though, we've been all over Mullerwell. Really well. We can't get the breakthrough, I mean, look at that. Probably better as the last guy you wanted to fall to, but you expect them to be better than that, man. Through to Walker. Walker! Oh my god, another save for Gillespie. I don't believe this, man. What do we have to do? It's Walker. Walker turns, looking for the cross in. It's better. Off the post! Fuck me! Please! Fucking Konami! Just give me a goal, man! Why are you shafting me like this? This is fucking hectic! Just want one goal, man. One fucking goal. And it will only give me it. Well, I'd, I'd prefer two, obviously, like, but... I mean, it'd be nice to know that we can still score. Berra, I mean, I think Berra's... Don't know, he's doing, like, a bird flap and fucking animation there. He's lost the plot. Lost the head. Ball comes in. Clear. Clear. Skins a man. Uh... That's why Cleo should be still on the bench. I mean, we see we a girly name like fucking Clear, man. He's not going to be any good anyway, is he? Back to the fucking kitchen, Sean Clear, you fucking prick. 
boss not a good chance like that, man. This is pish, I'm telling you, man. I'm losing the... I'm about to hand in my notice. I'm, I'm, I'm resigning. These players are dog shit. It's no Craig Lafine's fault if he has to put up with these dafties every fucking weekend, I tell you that. I take it back. Craig Lafine's the greatest manager to ever live. We'll go ball then towards Morrison. Is there one last chance here for us? Bear, well, not with a pass like that. Certainly not. Uh, can we create something, anything? It doesn't look like it. Mullaby will pass the ball out here at the back. Uh, they'll launch it up and that'll surely do it. We've got one maybe last attack. Gets Glenn Whelan. Uh, Jimmy, I mean, Jesus Christ. No, that's it over. There you go, guys. Mullerwell have beaten us by two goals to nil. Have they deserved it? Have they? Fuck. Um, Celtic lost to Aberdeen, which is a bit of a surprise. Rangers dropped points to Kilmarnock as well. So both full farm teams dropping points there. Uh, Hibs won. We don't, we don't like that. Aberdeen won. We don't really like that either. And we have moved down now. We're back in after St Mirren won. We've dropped back down into ninth place. And actually Mullerwell, with that win, have moved above Celtic, interestingly enough. So you can see now the teams at the top beginning to pull away. Hibernian with that win now, 8 points in front of us. And we see ourselves 5 points off the top 6. Uh, the only saving grace is, I believe, our next 3 games we have... 3 of the teams is teams that are below us. So Ross County, Hamilton and Livingston, I'm pretty sure, are playing 3 teams below us in the next 4. So... I mean, based on that, you'd think we're going to pick up a good haul of points, but I mean, with the way our guys are playing at the moment, I mean, we'd need about 10 own goals to have any chances of winning those games, because we just can't fucking score a goal for some reason. Should I have left the transfer, so man, we need, I don't know, we need firepower, we need God up front. I mean, God can create days and can create whatever he wants, maybe he can create some better fucking shooting boots for our strikers or something, because at the moment, it's just not happening. Anyway, let's get stuck straight into the next game. Uh, another must win. I mean, I know I said the last one was must win. This one is actually must win. If we don't win this, then it's the, the Europa League dream is gone. Suter comes back into the squad. Thank fuck for that. We might be a bit better defensively. Uh, Uchi is back up front. I mean, Connor Washington can't score. Uchi can't score. Nobody can score. We may as well stick the big black man up front and hope for the best. Anyway, let's get stuck into the game. Naismith. Naismith. Wait, wait up to Uchi. Uchi heads it down to Jamie Walker, who cracks an ambitious folly. And um, yeah, it's pretty much what I'm going to say about that. It was ambitious. I've got there's a lot of worse things I could say about it, but free kick for Ghent now. Opportunity for them to whip a dangerous ball in. It's it's looking pretty. Oh my god, poor defending for us. Good decent. I mean, it wasn't even a great cross in, is it really? So they were first to it and uh, inches close there to getting a goal. But um, let's see what Bronze keep is he capable of a bang in these, hopefully. Hopefully not, it's into the wall. Oh, it's a good deflection and it's just past the post. It's going to be a corner for Ghent. So they got a bit lucky there, I mean, although a bit unlucky that it fell for him, but... Oh no. Oh, great save for Slamata, Joe Piera, whoever it is. I don't care at this stage as long as they're stopping them from going in. The goal is falling for Uchi. I think Uchi's just going to crack it, why not? Well, that's probably why not. <laughs> Fucking terrible for Uchi, man. I mean, I know it's for distance, like, but Jesus Christ. I thought we could have done something better than that. Ball through to, oh, this is better, it's Uchi! Oh, what a goal, it's fucking Uchi! I don't believe it, the big man, I'll never slabber about him again, man, Jesus fucking Christ! What a goal, Uchi couldn't he hit, Jesus fucking Christ! If he was stuck to a plank, with nails through his wrists and shit like that, man, he couldn't he hit nothing. But... He's done it against Ghent with one opportunity out of nowhere, man. I don't believe it. I, I'm shell shocked. I don't even have the fucking words. What a goal there. I mean, Jesus is a good man and all that, but he's, he's no Uchi. I think Uchi's a. God sent him down, man, to save us in this fucking. this terrible night in Belgium. We needed a miracle. We needed a saviour. And God has sent down the big man. Son of God, Uchi. And big Uchi there. What a strike. And uh, I was been, I was beginning to go a bit more adventurous, guys, but after that goal, I think it's fair to say 11 men behind the ball, and that is what we're going to be doing here for the remainder, remainder of this match. What a challenge, I mean, better this time, taking absolutely no prisoners and 
I'm not surprised we went into the book there. That is shocking for Bearer. Ah, man, we're going everybody back. I mean, uh, I mean, look at that. Shocking. I did just take Suter after there because he was on a yellow card, but now we've got the same issue with Bearer, but we'll just try and see out the remainder of the game. We've brought Halka on, guys. I know it's a bit of a dodgy fucking decision, but, I mean, we'll see what happens. Overhead kick. Oh, my God, no way. No fucking way. Where was the defence to respond to that? That is a joke. That is an absolute joke. Where's the def Why is Berra storming there with his hands in his hips? He should be fucking diving in head first, mate. Trying to get the heat on that. I mean, what's he doing? Never seen a goal. I mean, look at that. I mean, come on. Oh, man. Seriously. And now we're just going to have to launch everybody up front. Wait. Oh, my God. And we're falling apart. We've we had to chuck everybody forward. And that's where it's led to. Another goal for Yaramuch. Hopefully he fucking... I don't know. I was going to say something, but... I'm going to get banned. Uh, our shirt looks a bit crinkled. I think we should iron that. But I mean, that's, that's probably not what you want to hear right now. But I'm disgusted, guys. I mean, this should be 1-0. We defend it well all game and then we get shafted and now we're falling apart. The fact that we just have to, you know, commit men forward now. I'm really not happy with how this has played out. And look at that, it's probably going to be 3-1 here. There you go, 3-1. Fuck this, this is, this, is, this is bullshit guys, that's what it is. Absolute bullshit. And that's also the Europa League, so yeah. Cheers, thanks Red for We've got Man United up next. If you play devil's advocate, you know, if we beat Man United, the gap down to three points, but we'd need to be extremely fortunate. Our goal difference is shocking. We'd need Aced and Ghent, you know, to beat United. I just don't see that happening, guys, and I am absolutely furious with how that match panned out. Right, that's good day for this episode. Um, I know what you're going to be thinking. You're going to be all thinking I'm shite and I need to lower difficulty, but I think... <laughs> This is where we're going to. This is where we're going to find out, guys, whether or not this season can be saved. Up next, we have a run of easier games. We've got Ross County, Livingston, St Johnston. I think we need maximum points here. If we were in a better position, I'd say seven would be okay. Well, let's be fair. I think if we get seven at the next nine, considering where we are at the moment, I would take that. I'd, I'd definitely take seven. But I mean, we need we need two wins here. There's no doubt about it. Against Ross County, Livingston, St Johnson, we need to start getting wins on the board. So hopefully we can do that, guys, next episode. But I'm absolutely disgusted with how that Belgian game panned out. I mean, the, that opening goal that they got to get them back on level terms, man. Ah, uh, you, you've never seen a goal like that in your life. Better. I mean, you can't really. It's the, it's the programming in the game, man. It's totally fucked us right over there. It really has. But I mean, that's it. I'm just done for now. And um, yeah, I'm just done. Fucking hell. Uh, till next time guys, till episode 8, peace.